It's the biggest night in the Music Awards calendar, and so Beyonce's dazzling entrance to this year's Grammys lit the night ahead of a battle between two musical superstars. Adele faced Beyonce in three categories on the night, and with both performing live, fans witnessed their talent close up. But during a tribute performance to the late George Michael, an off-key moment led the British star to an abrupt halt. I'm sorry for swearing and I'm sorry for starting again. Can we please start it again? I'm sorry, I can't mess this up for him. I'm sorry, I can't. She started again though. And if Adele feared this was a low for the night, she needn't have worried. Five golden highs were about to follow. Adele. 25, Adele. Her five Grammys included the highly coveted Best Album Award. Beyonce won two. But Adele dedicated her Best Album Award to the woman whom she beat. You are our light. And the way that you make me and my friends feel, the way you make my black friends feel is empowering and you make them stand up for themselves. And I love you, I always have. Last night's record haul now means that Adele has 15 Grammy Awards, surely cementing her status as one of Britain's great artists. She's definitely a British legend. I mean, there aren't any UK artists as worldwide famous and successful as she is, and as good in many ways. I mean, even when she was doing her performance for George Michael, uh, that tribute, and she stopped it, like, just at the start, because she thought she got it wrong. It takes a lot of guts to do that. It's a really honest thing to do, is say, you know, this is a really important performance for me. I'm not just going to roll through it. I'm going to get it exactly right. That takes quite a lot of guts. Another British artist honoured last night was David Bowie. Following his death, he won five awards for his last album, Black Star, more than he won in his entire career. But Adele's success remained the main story. When her best album trophy accidentally broke on stage, she gave half of it to Beyonce. Warren Nettleford, Five News. Um, first of all, I really do apologize.